Hello, Pam. Hi, Stephen. Nice to see you again. How are you? What have you got? I say. Oh, this is a Noah's Ark. I want to show you this, Tim, because it's really nice. It's magnificent. Look, mm, it's got two of everything. Yeah. Look, giraffes, camels, pig, oh. Mr and Mrs Noah. Yes. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's a Noah's Ark. It's oh, lovely, isn't it? Yes, it is! <laughs> <laughs> but don't you think you're both a bit old to be playing with a Noah's Ark? Well, we're not playing with it. I'm showing it to Stephen because I want to sell it, Mooncat. Oh, shall we buy it, Stephen? Well, it would be oh, nice. Oh, let's! But... Let's, then I'll be able to play with it whenever I want it. Well, oh, until you sold it, of course. But you're not very good at selling things, are you, Stephen? So it'll be in the shop for ages and I can play with it and play with it and play with it and... Just oh, a minute, well... Mooncat. I'm not sure that we can buy it. Why not? Well, I don't think we've got enough money. How much are you selling it for? Well, £20. £20? That's a lot of money, isn't it? Well, it is a lot of money, but that's how much the Noah's Ark's worth. Yes, mm. I know. Well, look, let's see, uh... Mm. Um... No, we haven't got enough money. How much have we got? Well, we've got £25 in notes and some coins in that bag. Well, that's more than £20, isn't it? So we can afford to buy the oh. Noah's Ark. Yes, but you? we wouldn't have enough left to buy any food. Oh. 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 Oh, I've had an idea. Just a minute. Oh, dear. He's had an idea. Now, where is it? Should be here somewhere. Oh, are you sitting on it, Veronica? You must try and keep the place more tidy, you know. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, dead chicken. Oh, I'm beginning to suspect foul play here. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I've been robbed! Burglars! Nobody move! Send for the police! <laughs> Oh. Here it is. I haven't been robbed at all. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry. Mooncat saves the day. <laughs> I'll buy it. But Mooncat, you... How much did you say it was? £20. Right. How much have I got here? Um, oh. you've got one, two, three, four pence mm -hmm. and a ten penny piece. Yeah? That makes fourteen pence. Oh. That's not much help, really, is it? Not really. Uh, I wonder if Robert's got some money. You're looking very smart and handsome today. But that's not surprising, really, is it? You're probably the smartest and most handsome robot in the world. And the cleverest. What do you want? I want to borrow some money. Well, you can't. Oh, Robert. I know you've got some in your money box. I'm saving it up to buy some new batteries. I've been feeling a bit run down lately. Well, couldn't you lend me some of your money? I want to help Stephen buy a Noah's Ark. It's a lovely Ark, Robert, and you could play with it whenever you wanted. Oh, go on, lend me some money, please. How much do you want to borrow? Twenty pounds. Ha, 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 ha. I'd settle for less. How much money have you got saved up? Two pence. Mm. Oh, well, it was worth a try. Twenty pounds. Ha, 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 ha. Robert hasn't got enough money either. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, it's such a shame, because they're yeah. so nice, these little animals, the horses oh, no. and the pigs. I love the pigs. Yes, so do oh, I. No. I love the pigs. Couldn't we pay you just a little bit at a time? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I need the money, Stephen. Oh, oh me. dear, I can understand. Mm. Well, I'm really sorry, but it looks as though we haven't got enough to buy the Noah's Ark. Mm. Oh, well, never mind. <sighs> would you like a story before I go? Yes, please. I would. All right, then. I'd rather have the Noah's Ark, mate. George liked going to the shop to mm. spend his pocket money. But when he'd spent it, he sometimes wished he still had it. 
especially the day he saw a beautiful red fire engine in the shop window for three pounds. George decided that he would save up his money until he had enough to buy it. Every week he put some money into his piggy bank. Every week the pig grew heavier and heavier. until it was so full that there wasn't room for even one more penny to be dropped through the slot. It was time to open the pig, pour all the money onto the table and count it. No one knew how much money George had, not even George. Everyone sat and looked at the heap of coins. George's brother said, I think he's got a pound. George's mother said, I think George has got two pounds. George said, oh, I think I've got a hundred pounds. But he hadn't. He'd got two pounds and five pence. He was very pleased, even though there wasn't quite enough money to buy the red fire engine. He spread the coins out until they covered the table. Then he gathered them together in a great heap and made them into a mountain and flattened it. Splat! George, said his mother, don't you think we should put your money in the bank? No, said George. Two pounds and five pence on a table is much more fun than two pounds and five pence in the bank. In a bank you can't see it, you can't play with it, you can't stand on a chair and drop it with a great noise into an empty biscuit tin. You can't load it into the wagon of your train and send it round the tracks. You can't build towers with it. George built towers with the coins. One with the one pence pieces, another with the two pence pieces and a little tower of five pence pieces. Then he thought it would be fun to knock them down with a building brick. So he did. The coins were scattered over the floor. Some rolled under the table and some rolled under the chairs. Some rolled under the dresser. And one bright five-pence piece slid down a crack in the floor and vanished. George was very cross. What use is five pence under the floorboards? He couldn't spend it. He couldn't save it. He could do nothing at all with it. He thought about it lying in the dust under the floor. George began to pick up the coins. His mother came to help him. George, she said, when they met under the table, I think you should keep your money in a safe place. So the next day, George's mother took him to put his money in the bank. <gasps> Stephen! Oh. Stephen! That story's given me an idea! What? Banks have lots of money, don't they? Yes. Well, let's go to the bank, get some money, and then we can buy the Noah's Ark. But Mooncat is not as easy as that. Oh, no. Before you can take any money out of the bank, you have to put some money in, just like George mm. did. Banks just look after your money for you. Yes, they just keep it safe for you until you need it. <clears throat> well, never mind. Perhaps in a few weeks' time you'll have enough money saved up to buy the Noah's Ark. <sighs> Goodbye, then. Bye-bye, Pam. Goodbye, See Noah's you again Ark. soon. <laughs> there he goes. I've never been to the bank before. What's it like? Well, why not come and see for yourself? We could take some of our money there and keep it safe in the bank until we've got enough to buy the Noah's Ark. Oh, God! <laughs> now, pass that bag over, will yeah. you please, Mary? <laughs> Oh, 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 it's heavy. What have you got in there? Ah, money. <laughs> money. Yes, we've got some penny coins and some ten penny pieces, all wrapped up in little plastic bags. <laughs> so we'll pop them back in there and put the pound notes in as well. And let's go and put it all in the bank. <laughs> people behind those little windows, Stephen? They're the bank cashiers. Cashiers? I've never heard that word before. Well, cash is another word for money, and people who work with money are called cashiers. Hello! 
We've got some cash here, cashier. <laughs> We'd like you to look after it for us, please. What are you doing? I'm weighing the coins to see if there's the correct amount in the bag. Yes, there should be 50 penny pieces in that bag. She could count them, but it would take a long time, so it's quicker to weigh them. This is the weight for the tenpenny pieces. You can see it's much bigger than the other weight. Are you going to weigh the pound notes as well? No, they're much too light to weigh, so I'm going to count them. Would you like to do it for me? Hmm? Yes. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nearly. <laughs> There are only 12 there. What's that book for? Well, that's to show how much money we paid into the bank. <coughs> Look, it says £17.50, and it's got the name of the shop on it as well, Mooncat and Company. <laughs> what happens to the money now? We lock all the money away in a very safe place until you need it again. How do you take money out of the bank? Ah, you have to write a cheque. What's a cheque? Well, this is a cheque book here. And if I wanted £100 from the bank, I would write £100 there and then put it in numbers in the little box there and sign my name at the bottom. And then the cashier would give me £100. If you had £100 in the bank. <sighs> yes, yeah, if. Oh, well, come on. It's time to go home. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. And take care of our money, won't you? I hope it will be safe, Stephen. Yeah, I think it'll be all right, Mooncat. Perhaps we'd better go back and have a look now. Well, I don't think we need to. I think that nice lady will look after the money for us. Well, I jolly well hope so. Yes, yeah, she will. Well, I think it's time to open the shop now, Mooncat. Right, let's open up the shop. Yes, I hope we get some customers. Yeah. Oh. oh, Stephen, I'm so sorry. Well, that's all right, Pam. Are you all right, Stephen? Yeah, I think I'm OK. Your bone's broken. Oh, what have you got there? This. It's a little combination safe for saving up your cash. Oh. You turn the handle left and right and give the side a bash. You open up the door and put your money in oh, and yeah. then you rub your hands and close it up and bash the side again. You turn the handle right and left before you've time to blink. There's your money safe inside the safe. Well, what do you think? <laughs> oh, I think it's brilliant. Mm, I'm oh. selling it for a pound. Would you like to buy it? Oh, yes. Ooh. Well, what do you think, Mooncat? Oh, yes, yeah, oh, yes, let's buy it. Mooncat, we can't buy everything we see. Oh. We're saving up, remember? Uh, uh, just leave this to me, Stephen. Oh. <coughs> yes? Uh, I'm sorry, but we wouldn't like to buy it, thank you very much. You see, we're saving our money in the bank so that we can buy that Noah's Ark from you. Mm? Oh, I see. Mm. Well, I'm very pleased that you're going to buy the Noah's Ark. Mm. So I'll tell you what. To help you save up even quicker, I'll give you that as a present. Oh, yes. thank you very much. Oh, oh that that's kind. really <laughs> nice, isn't it? Can you remember how it works? Oh, yes, I think so. Go on, show us. You uh, turn the handle left and right. Yes. And give the side a bash. <laughs> you open up the door, you put your money in. <laughs> oh, very good. Uh, oh, uh, Stephen. Yes? Can you lend me some money to put in it, please? Um, Pam, you haven't got 10p spare, have you? Oh, I think I've probably got one somewhere.
Come on, Robert. You know what to do. You've played hide-and-seek before. I can't remember. You face the wall. Count to ten. I hide, and then you've got to find me. I can't count up to ten. We'll count up to five, then, and count slowly. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Here I come, ready or not. You. You're behind the dustbin. Never mind that now, Robert. Let's get away from here, quick. What's all that noise? Who's done that? Mooncat! Did you call, Stephen? Uh, Robert and I were in my room playing and we heard you shout and I thought Stephen wants me, so I came. Someone's knocked the dustbin over. Look at all the mess. Did you see who did it? No, no. Uh, we haven't seen anyone, have we, Robert? We've been playing in my room. I think I know who knocked the dustbin over. Do you? Yes. Those children down the street. They were playing in the yard earlier this morning. I bet they made all this mess. <sighs> Where are you going, Stephen? I'm going to see their mums and dads. I wouldn't do that, Stephen. Uh... Perhaps it was an accident. Well, it probably was. Accidents can happen, but the children should have cleaned up the mess they made. Perhaps it wasn't the children. Well, we soon find out. Stephen! Don't go. Why not? Because... Be, because it wasn't the children who knocked the bin over. Wasn't it? But I thought you said you didn't know who did it. I wasn't telling the truth. I knocked the dustbin over. Mooncat, why didn't you tell me the truth? I thought you'd be angry with me. I wouldn't have been angry if you'd cleaned up the mess. I didn't want to clean it up. I wanted to play with Robert. I'm sorry, Stephen. I could have got those children into trouble. I know. And that wouldn't have been fair, would it? No, it wouldn't. But that's the sort of thing that can happen if you don't tell the truth. I'll clean up the mess, Stephen. Are you very upset? I'm not upset that you knocked the dustbin over. That was an accident. But I am upset that you didn't tell me the truth. Hey. Oh, sorry, Robert. Ooh. Stephen, I've cleared up all the rubbish. Good. Ugh. You want me to put that in the dustbin too? <laughs> no, thanks, Moongate. It is horrible, though. Yes, isn't it? it is. Ooh, it makes my eyes go funny whenever I look at it. <laughs> well, I'll hide it over here somewhere where we can't see it. Oh, but if, if people can't see it, Stephen, nobody will buy it. Well, who wants to buy that, Mooncat? Yeah, true, true, true. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Good Can morning. I help you? No, thank you. I'm just looking. All oh, right. Just looking. <laughs> I know. Oh, she's taking it to the light. Do you like that? Yes, very much. Mm. I wish I could paint like that. Well, it's certainly a lovely painting, but I expect it costs a lot of money. Well, no, actually, it only costs five pounds. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I thought it cost more than that. Well, to be honest with you, um, <clears throat> it's had something spilled on it, you see. Yeah, Just I in this did corner. That. That's why I'm selling yeah. it so cheaply. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, I wouldn't have noticed it if you hadn't pointed it out to me. You're very honest, aren't you? Well... Would you like to buy it? Well, I'm not sure. I'll just see what else you've got first. <laughs> right. Thank you. Have a good look round. Thank you. Yeah. Nice set of golf clubs there. <laughs> oh, yes. She's choosy, isn't she? Yeah. Mm. As long as she doesn't find that elephant. elephant. I want no, to keep that. No. Elephant. She must have one already. Mm. Oh! That's lovely. Oh, I've got a vase just like this at home. And it would be nice to have two of them. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. Tell the truth, Stephen. What? You don't think it's beautiful. You said so only a few minutes ago. What did he say? Well, what did he say? Now let me think. Uh, he said it was horrible. Did he? Yes. 
He said he'd hide it somewhere and then we didn't have to look at it. Go on. And he said nobody would want to buy that. Anything else? Uh, no. I think that was all. Uh, let me just explain. You it see, It doesn't what... matter. You haven't hurt my feelings. Mm. I'm not upset. Goodbye. Well, just a moment. You see, I don't think she was telling the truth, Stephen. She was upset. Why do you think she was upset? Because you told her that I'd said the vase was horrible. But you did say it. I was only telling the truth. But it hurt her feelings. You see, we think the vase is horrible. She thinks it's beautiful. Mm. Not everyone likes the same things. I mean, some people might not like your shirt. Mm. But if they told you they thought my it was shirt. horrible, how would you feel? What's wrong with my shirt? Mm. I'd feel very upset, Stephen. Mm. Just like the customer. Yes, that's mm. right. Mm. But... Uh, but when you said you thought the vase was beautiful, you weren't telling the truth. Yes, but I was trying to be kind. I was trying not to hurt her feelings. So, sometimes it's kinder not to tell the truth. Sometimes. But most of the time, life is easier if you're truthful. <gasps> Let me show you. Uh, where's Robert? Oh, he's over here, Stephen. Oh, hello, Robert. Uh, yes. We'll play Hunt the Thimble. Oh! Now, here's a thimble. You've got to hide it, mm -hmm. and I've got to try and find it. Yes. Now, when I ask you if I'm getting closer, yes. one of you has to tell the truth, mm -hmm. and the other one tells fibs. Ah. Right. Oh, right. <laughs> you go out now, get right. out of the okay. room, and I'll hide the thimble. <laughs> Has he gone? Yes. <laughs> now, Robert, which one of us is going to tell the truth? I cannot tell a fib. Oh, all right then, you tell him the truth, <laughs> and I won't. <laughs> now, uh, we'll hide the thimble, uh, uh, here, underneath the telephone. Shh! Ready, Stephen! Coming! <laughs> now, where can that thimble be? Um, am I getting close? No. Yes! <laughs> oh, I wonder which one of them is telling the truth. Um, am I getting closer here? No, no. Yes, yes! Oh, this is very <laughs> difficult. Uh, it's a good game, isn't it, Robert? Closer yet? Yes, yes, oh, yes, no. yes. No, you're yes, not. Yes, no, you're not, yes, Stephen. Moon yes, cat yes, sounds yes, worried, no, no, no. but Robert's getting no, excited, no, no. so I think I'm getting very near. No, no. Um, no, no. I bet it's somewhere. No, not over here, Stephen. Ah, there it is. Oh, I found it. <laughs> now I know who was telling the truth. Yes, Robert was. Yes. Uh, 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 <laughs> Thank you, Robert. <laughs> oh, she's back. Ah, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry about that little misunderstanding, but what... I've decided to buy the farce after all. Oh. I like it, even if nobody else does. Mm. How much is it, please? Uh, how much, Steve? One pound, please, and a story. Well, there's a pound. And did you say a story as well? Yes, I like stories. Would you tell me one, please? I don't know any stories. Oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> there's plenty of stories. In here. Oh, all right then. Mm. Does he have to listen as well? Oh, now we'll have the story in my room. Hold very tight, please. Ding, ding. Well, it is horrible, isn't it? Now that we're alone, we can have the story. Mm. Badger was digging in his garden. He could see Owl's house from where he was working. He hadn't yet seen Owl that day. Rabbit was on his way to Owl's house. He saw Badger and stopped. Oh, Badger, he said, is Owl at home? No, said Badger, for a joke. I saw her go out, oh, ten minutes ago. She was off out for the day. She went that way, said Badger, pointing towards the town. But he wasn't telling the truth. I don't understand it, said Rabbit. She invited me for breakfast. Oh, well, I'll go home and have breakfast by myself. Rabbit turned sadly away. He was disappointed. <coughs> well, Badger was a bit worried about what he'd done. Suddenly, Owl's door opened and Owl appeared. <coughs> Hello, Badger, said Owl. Have you seen Rabbit? Badger didn't really know what to say. Uh, no, not today. <whistles> but he wasn't telling the truth. I can't understand it, said Owl. He was supposed to come and have breakfast with me this morning. Wherever can he be? <laughs> Don't know, shrugged Badger. But he did know. Badger carried on with his digging. 
The next morning, he was out in the garden planting potatoes. Along came Rabbit. Hello, Badger, he said. I'm going to see what happened to Owl yesterday. Suddenly, Owl's door opened. Owl saw Rabbit and said sternly, Rabbit, where were you yesterday? And Rabbit said crossly, Where were you, Owl? I arrived for breakfast and you'd gone out. Gone out, Owl said. I was here all day. But Badger told me that you were out for the day, said Rabbit. Out for the day, said Owl. And he told me that he hadn't seen you at all. Badger, said Rabbit, that wasn't very kind. We're upset now. And Owl said, Badger, that's why we tell the truth. Because if you tell lies, like saying I was out and you hadn't seen Rabbit, then things are difficult. We all get upset. Oh dear, said Badger. It started as a joke. I won't do it again. I will tell the truth next time. Well, Badger, said Owl, I've got plenty of food at home. Come and have breakfast with Rabbit and me now. To tell you the truth, Owl, said Badger, I'd be ever so pleased. Ah, oh, it is important to tell the truth, isn't it? Stephen thinks so as well. Yes, I know. When he said the vase was beautiful, he wasn't telling the truth, but he did it so that he wouldn't hurt your feelings. Yes, I suppose he was only trying to be kind. And I was a bit huffy with him, wasn't I? You were a bit. I'll go and tell him I'm sorry. Come on. Ah, oh, there you are. Look, I am sorry if I upset you. Oh, that's all right. I'm sorry if I was huffy. It's silly to fall out over a little thing like a vase. I mean, not everybody likes the same things, do they? You like the vase, but Stephen doesn't. And I don't like it much either. Hmm. Mm. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not very keen on your shirt. Well, that's something we both agree on. It's dreadful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with it? I like it. You know, I made up a song about that shirt. Would you like to hear it? I would. Uh, could you magic up my guitar, please, Mooncat? No. You're making fun of my shirt. Oh, well, we're oh, only teasing. Come on. Go on. <laughs> Go on. And you'll like the song anyway. Oh, all right. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Yes, I did. <laughs> I did it on purpose. Look at that shirt, what a dazzling shirt. Did you ever see a shirt like that? It's yellow and green, it's the loudest I've seen and belongs to my friend Mooncat. Mm. Look at that shirt, what a dazzling shirt. Did you ever see a shirt like that? The green's very green, it's the loudest I've seen, and the yellow's so yellow. What kind of fellow could be seen with a shirt that makes people's eyes hurt? I'm the only one who'd wear it, cos no one else could bear it. And it belongs to my friend Mooncat. 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 <laughs> well, what did you think of the song? Shall I tell him what I really think? Yes, go on. Now, you want me to tell you the truth? Yes. The truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yes, I think I can take it. <laughs> well, I liked it. Hmm? You did? In fact, I liked it nearly as much as I liked this vase. Hmm? Oh. Well, I don't know whether to be pleased or upset. Well, I should be pleased if I were you. All right. Well, goodbye then, everybody. It's been fun. Yes, it has. Hmm. And thanks for the story. That's all right. Yes, and do come again, Pam. Yes. Uh, we'd love to see you. And that is the truth. Oh, thanks, Stephen. <laughs>